You've done it. You've made it to the end. Hopefully you got a chance to look at all four of the slicers that we offered. And we did it this way because we know that not everybody uses all of the slicers. And so we gave you a choice. And life is all about options. And we gave you an option. So that was exciting. But now we get to find out if stacking these face shield visors worked. And I can tell you right now, these are PLA. And they're, and they're already taken apart. <laughs> These are in PLA. These, uh, these stacked pretty darn well. Uh, they were able to come apart, but one of the things that I noticed is that one of the original designs had this little inlay right here. And if you stack the prints, that inlay gets bridged across at a higher layer across here. So if you're gonna use this version of a print or a print that has some insets, flip it upside down, then gravity is helping you. And then anytime it has to go over this section, it's a bridge. And then it gets all of the top layers done and then the next print starts. So, so just remember that PLA works fine, but if you have this inset part, just make sure you turn it over because you'd rather have gravity assisting you on the bridge. PLA works. The Prusa PETG on the Prusa Mark III worked as well. I did get these apart. Uh, there's the, the build plate right there. You can see that was the lower one. And as we pulled them apart, it, they didn't look too shabby. Let's see, there we go. They didn't look too bad. There is some layer problems just because you're printing at a layer height twice than the amount of plastic that's coming out. And so something like this, it really depends on who you're giving it to. Something like this may not be able to be cleaned or sanitized enough for reuse. And so anytime you're stacking prints, just make sure you're aware if your layers look like this, confirm with the place that you're giving them to before you go about and donating them. It could be that stacking, if you're, how about this? If your printer performs like this, and this is how your results are when stacking, maybe stacking prints isn't the right option for you, or maybe you just need to adjust your settings and your layer height. Now though, you probably wanna see a demonstration in action, which I have right here. Uh, this is PETG, and this is on the Raise 3D E2. Uh, this is a model I made. This is the, the uh, Manta Ray, but it's got these little spaces here. It takes up less material. It doesn't have uh, protection from above. So if the place that you're printing them for isn't requesting protection from above or doesn't need something like this, doesn't want something like this, whatever, this is now an option. But again, always print for the need. Let's see if we can get these apart. I've got this. This is a, uh, uh, a painter's knife, a painter's something. I don't remember where I got them. I've had them for a while, but it's a super thin piece of metal and it bends pretty well. And it really makes getting these apart a little bit easier. So for the manta ray, I can just kind of separate at the, the wing part. And then I will bring this through without cutting myself. And that popping that you hear is just the, the plastic separating. Okay, this came apart pretty well. Let's have a look at that bottom layer. So again, it's, it's not like the Prusa one with these ends. It's a little bit more complete, but it does have an irregular pattern. So again, just be aware of that when you're donating these and make sure where you're giving them to can accept them. Uh, this one should be a little bit easier. There's far less plastic. So it might be, I might be able to just pull it apart. Maybe, I don't know. A few moments later. Shoot, that makes short work of that. Did you see that? That was quick. Look at that. Okay, so the bottom layer of that, it could be that it, because it's translucent, it doesn't look as bad as the others, but I mean, it still works. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think what we need to take from this is stacking prints is fantastic. It's a lot of fun and experimenting with it gives you another dimension of being able to print because now you can harness your printer's ability over time. And uh, since we all don't have belt 3D printers, this is the next best option. I really hope you had fun. I hope you learned something and I hope Hope you're staying safe. Wash your hands. Don't forget. Hey, listen, if you made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more from a safe distance. And I love you. As always, high five.